24 to 16. Let's hear from the Raiders head coach, John Gruden. It's like I say, I'm really proud of our team. Uh, a lot of first time Raider contributors. You know, some of the free agents that we we got in the off season, a lot of the rookies made huge contributions and I really appreciate the Raider fans too. It's really great to be home. We've played home games in Winnipeg. We we're happy to be here at the Coliseum and it's a good start, but I'll answer any questions I can. How would you describe Well, he's been, you know, he played great tonight. Uh, I don't know what the stats are, but he did a lot more for our team than complete a lot of passes. He made some, you know, great audibles. He protected the ball. He was inspiring and leader, leading the team on the sidelines. I thought he was, I thought he was really good. Uh, I, I think I'll take credit for that since it worked. <laughs> yeah, Derek was involved in a lot of um, things tonight, and most great quarterbacks are. But he, he was he was on top of his game tonight. Going on in the week leading up, in the week leading up the game, what it really wasn't. I'm just going to tell you there really wasn't. Maybe for you know the media, but what ha what happened here the last couple of days may, may have been um, you know big news to some, but. Uh, there were no distractions. I think you could tell that tonight. Our team is ready to roll. No, I don't, I'm never going to bring it up again. Uh, that incident, whatever you call it, had nothing to do with, with our team's focus or preparation. Um, that's it. End of story. Sorry. Oh, and you know he is so happy to say that. That's it. Yes, End is. of story. And he is not sorry at all. But that is John Gruden's 100th win right there. So happy NFL 100, everybody. There you uh, go. <laughs> so we're moving on. They're moving on past the AB story. But in terms of a distraction, I mean. I mean, wow. That was a distraction, right? Like for, for that team been. to come out and play the way they play, hats off to everybody in that building. The coaching staff, the leaders in that locker room. We question time after time if the Oakland Raiders had the leaders in that locker room. We didn't know. I think we know now. I think mm -hmm. we know A.B. was just a little bit different of a guy who just didn't fit in there like, like, like his agent said. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Obviously, for Oakland, it didn't work for them to keep him as a part of their team. But, man, they looked good tonight. Well, well the, the, the foot injury of A.B. was a blessing in disguise because all that time he was gone, guess who's getting his work? Tyrell you know, Tyrell Williams. Williams Darren, the tight end. Darren, Darren Waller. Waller. Yeah, Waller. You had Hunter Renfro, the Mike running Grant. back. Yep. All these guys are finding ways to get those reps in, and that's what you saw here tonight. And I think John Gruden is right by saying it wasn't a distraction, a distraction because guess what? We've been dealing with this since August. Yep. Yeah. This, this was just everyday thing for us. I mean, yeah. was he here? Was he not here? And at the end of the day, we finally got a chance to go out on Sunday and just play the game that we love and play with passion and inspire. And that's what they did. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was a distraction. I actually think it was a rallying cry. I think it was something that John Gruden could stand up in front of that team and say, hey, guys, and nobody's giving us an opportunity. Nobody's giving us anything. And now they're saying our best player just walked out of the door. And, and I think – when you look at Tyrell Williams, you look at the rest of this receiving core, and I think it seemed like they just came out with a, with a certain level of energy and a certain mindset like, yo, we didn't need A.B. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like, to me, it looked like uh, the way that the offense flowed, seemed like they got a lot of reps without A.B. It looked to flow pretty seamless um, without one of the best wide receivers in the National Football League. So big ups to this team, big ups to this roster, big ups to Derek Carr. Mm -hmm. Derek Carr spent so much time with A.B., had to, had to, you know, go in front of the media, answer questions about yeah. him not being there. Then had to flip all of that around, go in, you know, go in um, to an offensive meeting room and get, this, get, get these guys ready to go out here for this Monday night game. So big kudos to this entire Oakland Raiders organization. Yeah, the Raiders offense, they looked absolutely fine without Antonio Brown. Can't say the same about the Steelers, but we're not talking about the Steelers right now. We're talking about the Raiders. And um, Josh Jacobs, the he shame. really, he looked great out there, but this seems like an offense. I didn't that, say that, America. <laughs> Are you trying to snitch on me? I didn't say it. I'm not trying to say it. I'm just saying I didn't say it because I, I have some history with Pittsburgh right now. So I'm just trying to be cool. But this is an offense that looks like it will be it will be just fine without Antonio, Antonio Brown. So what does that mean for them in terms of the division? What I know it's only one week. It's one game. But still, I feel like it makes me at least a lot more confident when I watch this team now. After well, the key that. is for, for this team is can you bring that same energy next week? Yep. Can you bring that same energy the week after that? 
and the week after that and keep it throughout the season. You and just when can't, you play Kansas City. Yeah, right? You just can't be a, a one, a one show up on – just what we're going to show up on Monday night with the last game. <laughs> you can't do that. And so that's going to be the key. Yeah, because in this league, it's about consistency. I remember we had beat the Super Bowl champs like three years in a row at – at random points in the season, and we didn't make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And so it's not about beating them on that one particular day. It's can you do it week, week in, after week, week, week mm -hmm. after week and put it together. And that's what we're still trying to figure out. Can this Oakland team do that? Yeah, well, they got to do it tonight, 24-16 yes. over the Broncos. It must have been such a relief, honestly, to go out there and just get that game on tape mm -hmm. for everybody to see and just move on. I can't believe you brought Pittsburgh in this. Listen, I'm just, <laughs> Just hey, throw it out there. Get, get out of here with that. All right. Terrible. We have another game we're going to focus Sorry, on team. coming up next. We will take another look.